There we go. Welcome to the seventh annual Turf and Tools <laughs> podcast. I like how you got the annual seven. <laughs> Hello, everyone. I am uh, Tim the Lawnmower Man. This is Obsessive Lawny with me. Um, yeah, we do a podcast about lawns and, and lawn equipment, mainly, mainly the, the equipment side of it. Why do we do it, Karthik? I don't know, because we talk about it anyway. Um, do a, we usually talk about it more than once a week. I think these days it's kind of like... Yeah. We're not allowed to talk about it anymore because it's kind of like, don't say it to me. Talk don't about waste it on it, the podcast. We've got, we got so little to talk about. We've got to <laughs> save it. But um, basically, we're, uh, I guess, those middle-aged dads that... Grass nuts? Yeah. Once you, once you turn a certain age, yep. you uh, adopt some sort of personality and it's either, what is it, either grass, Yeah, golf, there was that meme, wasn't it? Barbecue, grass. Or uh, golf was the other Golf one? was one of the yeah. three and then there was a fourth one. I can't remember. I, I play golf terribly. So I had to get on the uh, grass <laughs> train. Um, yeah, that's we're, we're just into that, that sort of stuff. So um, that's what we talk about. What have you been up to this week, Karthik? Not much. It was. Uh, you still studying, I'm, mate? Yeah, I am. It was a pretty crap week overall with sick kids and stuff like that. Until I woke up this morning, saw the sun out finally after all the rain we've had. I can hear it in your voice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'll call, make sure I sneeze all over you. All right. Yeah. yeah. Please keep that to yourself. Mm-hmm. I don't, the last thing I need is to get sick. <laughs> we are live on Instagram. If you've got any questions, yeah. let us know. It's good to have the sun back though today, isn't it? It's crazy. The sun is out. I don't like talking about the weather on a podcast. Every time I hear people talking about I the know. weather on a podcast, I'm like, no one cares. But it's somewhat relevant at the moment because there is literally not a cloud in the sky at the moment. It's a beautiful day. Yep. We've had um, you know, a few days of constant rain and flooding. Yeah, well, they're, they're talking about a month's worth of rain in that one day or two days. Apparently, the dam's ready to spill it, over. Well, I think it's spilled over. over already, but yep. it wasn't. It didn't seem that bad to me. Nah, like, I think I think you could. I don't know. I was going to say felt something. Like rain. Dumb. Just, Sorry, I know. I was going to say it just it sounded like big heavy drops of rain. I don't know what that meant. But just it, felt like constant rain that, yeah. that we'd had um, previously. But yeah, obviously the dam's full now. That's that's spilling over. Uh, I went out to Pitt Town yesterday. We're going out for an open home. Okay. And the road was closed going into Windsor. Like yep. the whole McGrath Hill Flats was flooded. And, you know, I've seen it many times over the last few years now. Um, crazy sight to see. Then we tried to go another way around and had to go a third way around. So there's <laughs> yeah. plenty of water out there. I've, I've got Cameron on the Instagram live that said hello from Windsor anyway. Ah, so he's out that way, Cameron, obviously. We're in Windsor, are you? Hopefully you're nice and dry. Hopefully yeah. the turf farms don't cop it. Um, our Too friends out it. at Must Turf. This is when they'd be starting to get nervous and maybe packing stuff up. Yeah. Uh, last I saw, the bridge hadn't gone under, so... The unfloodable bridge. That's lower than... No one said it was unfloodable. I think it was called the unfloodable bridge before it opened. Less likely to... <laughs> mm. But, yeah, absolutely crazy because it is just... The temperature's perfect. Yeah. There's not a cloud in the sky. I got back yesterday after doing some house hunting and ripped into all the lawns. Okay. Um, gave the... Tiff tough out the front, a little bit of a groom. Nice. With the, I don't use it often. It's I don't know that they call it a, a grooming cartridge, but the Alex Sterling, my um. Oh, you got that one out. Nice. Yeah, yeah. it's been sitting there doing nothing for a while now, yeah. hasn't it? Yeah. So I'm cutting it about 16 mil, so it's starting to get it, like it looks absolutely. I'm, I was going to take a picture and show you. I was mm-hmm. so proud, um, but it's getting to that point where, uh, you know, it starts getting a little bit fluffy, and you're yep. like, if I let this get away. I mean, it's going to be game over in a minute anyway because... It's winter as well, yeah. 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 But it, it's looking great at the moment. I thought I'd give it a, a, a tiny little tickle just to, um, yeah, hopefully put that off. Uh, but, yeah, looking great. Did in my backyard, which is... I just... Uh, don't get me started on that. <laughs> you just want to get rid of that now and put the... I want to redo the whole backyard. That's, yep. It's not even It's not even the grass that's the issue. It's it's the backyard. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Get it done lawn mowing. Wants to know what coffee we're having. I've got a flat white. What do you got, Karthik? I've uh, got a uh, cap with half a sugar in it. Uh, you can tell Karthik sounds a little down. Do you... I sound like deep and sexy? You don't have no, the... I'm no, I'm not feeling no? that. You, okay. you, you sound sort of um, congested <laughs> and fluey. Yeah, I'm a little bit. A little um, bit. Don't be spitting on me. But yeah, so we've got the coffee. He's trying to get a bit of energy here. Uh, I don't know if you can hear in the background. We've got the there's a ride on mower going. It's quite loud, isn't it? Yeah, Sunday. They, I'm sure you flat chat. Hopefully, they'll be done soon, though. Yeah, um, but yeah, the backyard. I want to redo it if I stay. I mean, obviously, we're looking to move at the move, moment. Yeah, yeah. Been house hunting all week, which has just been. It's exhausting. It's almost like a full time job. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm not getting a lot done overall. Mm. 
because it's just it's so all consuming you're like refreshing your feed just looking for new places we're even going out to look at a place that seemed pretty promising mm-hmm. and then an hour and a half before the open it wasn't even an open it was a pre-open before the like saturday open so yep. it was friday and the agent rang and said that they had um, it's off mark, like they, it's under contract. Private sale. Look, I, I don't want to carry on about the real estate on a turf and tool podcast, but I saw the news. It's related. No, because you totally brought up, related. You, I, I remember one of the times you spoke about it, and you talked about how you you do a search and it shows up at a certain price point. Yeah. You turn up and it's so much more. Yeah. But I saw something in the news yesterday. I think it was from last year, but it must have the 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 court decision must have come out, but I think a bunch of Sydney um, agents, like 100 plus that were given warnings slash fines for yeah. um, underlisting, like basically putting the price at a lower point yeah. and then realistically expecting a lot more for it. I saw something in the news What, they got done well. for it or they got fined? Well, I think or? it just got investigated as a whole, no. as a practice, yeah, if okay. I'm not wrong. Look, don't quote me on the specifics. Google it. I didn't pay too much attention. It just flagged it because I remember the conversation with you yeah. from last time. That's it. It's the worst process. <laughs> and, like, even when we sell ours, like, like I, if they want to try that, you know, um, expressions of interest or just listed, we yep. want, I'll, I'll just be like, look, put a guide there of a price. Exactly, we know. With We're going to be in that sort of guide. If, if a couple of people want to fight over it after that, fine. But I, I, don't, I don't even want to play those games when I'm selling. Yeah, yeah. It's just uh, not, not good. But this, the property we were going to look at uh, was a, it, it was more rural. Um, not a massive block, mm-hmm. uh, not usable anyway. I had about a, an acre usable. Okay. Uh, and it was can't we, four acres total, but most of it bush. Yeah. But I was, we'd already planned in our head, well, we're going to put a pool there, I'm going to build a shed there, <laughs> plenty of stuff to do. I'm like, You're oh, I can put some grass. There, yeah. yeah, exactly. And then to get a, a call an and hour. not even get a look in, I yeah. just thought it was bizarre that an agent would recommend selling a place when they had someone coming through. Yeah. Yeah, I think sometimes that's probably how they put pressure on potential buyers as well to go like, yeah, what we're gonna go to the wider market if it's your last chance to buy it, kind of thing. I don't know. It's like, but where are the distressed stel- sellers or whatever? Like, I'm just yeah. looking and stuff <laughs> selling, stuff selling for big money. Yeah, and yeah, supposedly we're in a climate where interest rates are extremely high and people are on struggle street. Yeah, and I'm not trying to steal something off anyone, but I'm just, I'm just like, I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but that's been my week. I, you know, I had a little mishap during the week. I did. We spoke about this already. Yeah. I planned what both of us normally do is um, overseed with ryegrass over winter, so we still have something to mow. Um, I can't um, do it in the front because on the tiff tough because um, some pre-emergent was thrown down when the fungal when I had the fungal issues and they came out to do that. Um, and I don't know why it was, maybe it was just like, I was really, ho- I, I, I've just been racking my head for how to make it look nice in winter. I'm like, okay, I'll, I'll do the back. Um, and so I threw down some plant growth regulator that I had. Yeah. I'm getting all ready. I'm thinking, yeah, okay, I'll do it. Yeah. I'll cut it back in a week and, and overseed and told you, I just threw some, uh, plant growth regulator yeah. down. I was so confused. Cause I'm like the whole reason the front yard we discussed about was because you specifically yeah. got the backyard treated for fungus. Yeah. And then while he was treating the back, he also put some pre on the front. I was just <laughs> totally absent-minded. Yeah. Well, chuck some seed anyway, see what happens. Let's test the theory of whether seeds yeah, germinate or well, not. Well, I feel like it'll just... There'll be a few and it'll be extremely patchy. And then I don't want to go yeah, cutting... Look, yeah. I don't want to go back cutting it, he- cutting it back heavily and then it just looks like an absolute disaster yeah. over winter, especially because we're you know, probably selling. Yeah. Um, but what? I just... I, yeah. I was... When... When you brought it to my attention, you're like, you, but you, there's pre-emergent in the back. I'm like, what is wrong with you, number one? <laughs> and then number two, I'm just like devastated. And then I'm, I'm racking my brain. I'm like, do I pull it up and, and throw down some Australis now or something? And yeah, I just, all these Look, ideas going through my head. But- only plausible solution there, plausible, and even that is not going to really work, is probably like absolutely flooding the yard, which... Uh, Weather is done for you with anyway. Seed. No, no, just with water as well in terms of like just leaching effects and stuff like that. Maybe that'll take the bite off. You reckon? But what? No, not really. No, I'm just no. trying to just trying to find you a <laughs> silver lining, really. Maybe I, I throw down. Maybe I'll do like a control square now and just throw and see down what some happens. seed. Yeah. And if I get decent germination, go for it. But I've never really tested the theory for how a um, 
uh, pre-emergent works when you're actually throwing down seed? Yeah, I, look, to be honest, it's specifically, it, it's not going to do it, basically. Yeah, yeah. No, no. yeah. It's, it's literally a product designed to stop things from germinating and you're trying to throw something on it's top of it. It's devastating. I'm like, so, well, yeah. I'm going to have nothing So how's the Kaiku? You know, did you go pretty heavy rate on the... I did. You did? I did. <laughs> so you've really put it to sleep then. <laughs> yeah, it's not going to be... Um, you're not going to be growing... Um, some height anytime soon. So, yeah. Look, um, for, for those listening, this is not unique to Tim either. Yeah, we, we've all done not not exactly the same thing. Maybe we've done some dumb stuff over the years. We all do it, and then totally straight absent-minded. after when the moment comes, and you go, "What was I even thinking?" Because that's such a yeah. well. I know what my issue is. I'm impulsive, and I'm just like, I'm like, oh, okay, I'll do the bat, and I don't even. Th- I'm just like, yep, yeah, I know what I got to do. Go and do it. Yeah. But then I didn't just <laughs> just completely <laughs> absent-minded yeah. because I was so keen to to do what I was yeah. doing, and the thought of. The other reason I was going to do it, I've got still got the Massport Rotorola, which I plan to and have been mowing the backyard with it. But yep. because it looks so garbage at the moment, I haven't really been able to show it off. <laughs> so I'm like, all right, we'll throw some rye down. Rye is like the best striping yep. grass around. I'm like, how good is this winter going to be? I'm going to have this beautiful rye grass out the back, striped up nicely with the Rotorola. So <laughs> I'm going to need to find a property. You're doing your backyard, eh? I Are am, you? I am, yeah. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, I think I can probably say it. Look, I was just holding off because um, Ryobi wanted to send a few things yeah. for me to try and just sort of feature on my page. Mm. So, I think that's going ahead. I'm just waiting on the on a couple of bits of Stuff equipment. Stuff to arrive. Co- yeah, a couple of bits of equipment to arrive. Yeah, okay. Uh, as soon as it's come in, I'll probably put the PGR down um, to slow the diff down because it's come back really good from the hard reset I'd done about yeah. two weeks ago, uh, barring a couple of spots where the dog's gone to town so to speak i thought your dog had a specific area he did, but occasionally quite... he gets out mm. when we're doing other stuff so he's a couple of little wee spots which is not a big deal yeah okay uh but the backyards look the tips looking good otherwise so yeah. it's going to be one of those when i do take it down um people are going to go why it looks perfectly fine yeah. it looks good right now uh again the ryobi doesn't really you know those mowers don't go very low so it's not going to be a hard scalp like so you're doing scalp. it with a ryobi mower? well that was kind of the Thing I'm trying out. I tried that with the Renault last yeah, year I as remember, well, yeah. with just the Ryobi stuff. Yeah. yeah, so it's kind of the same thing, but obviously I'm not going to scalp. I'll, I'll scalp as low as the Ryobi goes. Um, mm. The odds are, because I'm still in the mowing right now in the backyard, I might literally just be giving it a mower as opposed to a scalp because yeah. the mower doesn't go low enough. But then the scarifier and stuff will open up the surface enough for me to get the seed to soil contact, so to yeah, speak. Okay. Plus, if I'm top dressing, which I really want to from a leveling point of view, um, it shouldn't matter again because there'll be plenty of. Like the top dress will be there for the seed to. How much more can you top dress which... there? Because it, in your yard, to me, it no, seems like it slopes see it. back towards. Uh, yeah, but I'm not trying to pick it up by like 10 um, millimeters. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 10 millimeters yeah. height. I'm just trying to level like the little yeah, dips okay. and right. little dips and stuff like yeah. that. So, yeah, I'll probably it do it. It kind of runs back to your patio area, doesn't exactly, it? Exactly, yeah. exactly, yeah. yeah you it, got, have you, I can't remember, have you got drainage um, before the patio? Is there a channel, a drainage channel? Not, not, not there, but no. towards the side. So the water kind of drains towards okay. the side, and then there's uh, like lines underneath there. Yeah. Look, it's not the most professional um, drainage system underneath there either. So when the heavy rain comes, I do get a little bit of water flowing into the alfresco area yep. as well. But yeah, it's How do you get rid okay. of that? Just no, since I put those, you know how I, got the, I installed those screens in the back? Yeah. Um, which is originally I installed for like just... Oh, so it's not runoff, it's just that side rain yeah, action. Exactly, okay. exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So that seems to help a lot. Mm. Um, when there's the crazy... Look, when the dam in Richmond's overflowing, yes, mm. a little bit of the water from my lawn's flowing onto my alfresco as well. Well, Scott wants to know, Scott on Instagram, hey, guys, what do you recommend doing after so much rain and flooding your backyard at this time of year? Um, pray for sunshine. Pray for sunshine, yeah. If you know if what you you're doing... With, drainage, if you haven't got drainage, if, if your you, yeah. yard doesn't drain... Well, if you know what you're doing with fungicides and stuff like that, uh, preventative spray, if you haven't already got it, is probably not a bad idea. I actually know Scott from a lot of chatting about oh, lawns go. and scop, uh, scop one mowers and stuff like that. Mm. Um, I think we chatted through the whole process where he was getting his new place built and lawn installed. Ah, oh, okay. Yes. Uh, hi, I, Scott. Yeah, well, I, ideally, um, you've got a, a yard that drains, which I don't out the back. Yeah. Mine yeah. was so wet. I was putting um, Maggie out to go to the toilet and she was just refusing to go out there, but... I, I was walking in the garden bed and it was just, my feet were Squishing. sinking. No, like totally sinking. Oh, like, below. I'm like, how is this even possible? <laughs> um, so, yeah, obviously setting it up initially with decent drainage mm-hmm. is, is the best solution apart from that. Yeah, just try and uh, dry yeah. it out. Try not to, too much traffic on it. I don't, uh, I don't know, what else? Yeah. 
Um, yeah, look, all I can say, if the lawn's already installed, it's already done, mm. and you've got a lawn, and you get weather like this, only thing you can probably do is preventative stuff or yeah. just yeah, hope for sunshine. Just sometimes, you know what, just leave it be. It might not look perfect for a while, but it'll bounce back too. Scott said he's going to send you some photos. It's so bad, so bad. What, you didn't tell him to get some drainage to start with? I'm going to claim that I did, but I can't remember, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, v Mowing says, have you guys tried Munn's Golf Course Green for it? If so, how do you rate it? Yeah, I've used it before. I've used the uh, yeah. granular last season. I think I used uh, uh, the green up, like the Golf N plus green. I, yeah, the liquid as well last season. Yeah. I like it. If I'm, if I'm going to Bunnings and I'm grabbing something, yeah. um, I usually grab that Munn's Golf Course Green stuff. Um, I've had no issues with it. Look, it's, it, the prill size is bigger, <laughs> for, so I don't use it on like where I have my ultra low cut stuff because it burns the grass. Yeah. But the quality is fine. It does all right. Full, I'm not gonna, full yeah. disclosure, I think we've both... Did you do the Munns campaign a couple I of... I did, yeah, the paid okay, promotion so, one. So yeah. full, yeah. full disclosure, yep. um, they did send some stuff out to us previously to do it. Um, and, yeah, I use it. You know, we didn't do controlled tests of it or yeah. anything. Yeah. I don't, yeah, there's, you're not going to get scientific information here. You're going to get, yeah, I put it down and it seemed to work, but... Um, yeah, yeah, so we, Scott, we, Scott just text message this uh, oh, lawn that, pictures over. So By got, the way, Scott, or anyone listening, we've, we're not the best for giving lawn advice. We're just giving lawn opinion, I guess. Yeah, because we, we neither do. of us are experts. Yeah, yeah that is um, very wet. Yeah. I don't know what you do there. You do, yeah, I'd, I, I reckon for now, Scott, just where let Where is it, he? Let it, let, uh, it Queensland. Like, Queensland oh, okay. somewhere. I was going to say, it looks like our sort of Yeah, But look, no, area. he's got his actual main yard is a big size, man. Mm. Um. I'm trying to find the... Okay. Like, that's his full yard, previous pictures. Yeah. It's got, like... Fair enough. Yeah. No one can see this yeah, on no the podcast. So, good. but uh, good luck with that, Scott. Pray for some uh, sunshine. Yeah, maybe uh, run a drain just along the porch area there for next time so the water runs yeah, off maybe to the some, sides. some ag line if you, got a, yeah. if you have a low point that you can run yeah. some ag Or even one of those above surface ones all along there. Yeah, but you, you know still got to have somewhere for it to go yeah, to yeah, and fall. Yeah. If that's, you can direct it, yeah. That's my issue out the back. You have nowhere to send it, yeah. Yeah, and the... Under, where, it, where it falls is away from the drain. Yeah, under the fence and into the neighbour's yard now. Yeah, that's not a bad option. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that, that Munn's um, golf course green, I've used it. It, it it's greened good. up my yep. lawn. It seemed to seemed to work. I can't, um, yeah. They did uh, another campaign that I, uh, I haven't done. I, I've been reluctant to do. I did that, but I haven't done many vert um, promotion yeah. things. Yeah. Just because it's kind of hard, like... It, for what I'm doing anyway, I'd, like I don't want to be like this is the product that you. Well, I don't know how anyone can claim if one is better than the other unless they're going to do side by side trials and stuff like that, like professionally. Yeah. I've you know like I'm, I've been openly I've been with Plant Doctor pretty much since my page started like on Instagram. Yeah. They they kind of helped me out by sending out a couple of products when I first started. I had like probably 100, mm. 200, 300 followers. Yeah. Uh, but it's hard to sort of yeah like promote fertilizer products as well. All you can tell them is that oh. that's the one you use. I guess they just want to see your green yeah, lawn yeah. and people go, what are you using? Yeah, so. exactly. No, but what I'm trying to say yeah. is you can't really claim if one's better than the other. Or I can't comfortably no, no. claim one's better than the other. No. I just tell them what I, I would, use on yeah, my exactly. lawn. Yeah, um, Yeah, I've had, a, I've had a few come to me saying they, they want to and I'm just like, yeah, thank, thank you for the approach, but not really yeah. something yeah. I'm looking for. Yeah. Uh, I've been using, again, this sounds like a promotion, Lawn Rules, they do... Liquids liquid only. fertilizer too. Yeah. I threw some of that down this morning, um, just sort of at a half rate as well. Okay. Um, just to, I don't know, just cause. On, the, on, the, on the backyard, you mean? No, um, both my front and my neighbours okay. had some left over. Because yeah. if your tiff tuff's looking good already, I wouldn't be putting more nitrogen at this time of the year. Just keep, if no, you want to keep the colour, just give it, it iron. So it was like half a low rate. Okay. So okay. it was, yeah, yeah. You know, pretty much um spoon feeding it uh jakey says uh talk to me about the massport contractor versus honda hru 196 uh well it depends which one you the massport contractor the um the 196 is a push mower the contractor i have is a self-propelled um 21 inch mower do they have an i can't think I'm, i've got a mental blank a 19 inch contractor or is it the pro power that's 19 i can't think they might have a contractor that's a 19 as well. I haven't actually tried it. Any mower of that sort of size and weight, I want to be self-propelled. I used to have... I had three HRU 196s mm-hmm. um, early on when I started and great mowers, but um, just too heavy for me to be pushing around, um, particularly with 
spongier buffalo lawns, a lot of new clients I was getting, you know, it had been mowed too high yep. and just allowed, you know, they needed a real hard height reset. And then, you know, in the middle of summer on a 40 degree day, trying to push a heavy push mower yeah. through that so, was just breaking me. So that's when I, you know, I saw the light. I'm like, okay. When I started mowing, I, I thought, oh, I'm fit enough. I'm young enough. I, I don't need a self-propelled mower. Why, why do I need that? So mm -hmm. I got, you know, um, that that the HAU 196 has the commercial Honda engine on that's it. That's right. Yeah. Um, and I thought, you know, that, that's more than fine. But God, I was breaking my body pushing that. Yeah. 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 So well, who who's it for then in that case? Like, uh, well, I guess it still what, what, could be for a contractor. Or? What situation does it suit better? Like, why would someone want that versus uh, self propelled? Is it just a price point thing, maybe? Or is there other things you can think of in terms Pot of a reason? Potentially, but I, I, you know who um, the Aussie Lawn. Yeah. Uses one and loves it yeah. around his greens. Like okay. the, the bits that he mows and, and the buffalo and that. Uh, I remember a few years ago he did a, a review of it. Mm. Um, yeah, good mower. Just again, anything you heavy. You don't want to push. You want anything just, heavy, yeah. I want to self propel. Self -propel. Yeah, fair yeah. enough. Uh, here we go. This is a very good question because it was specifically relating to what I was going to talk about I was next. Gonna say, I was going to put you on the spot when uh, you saw the question. Dillish right. says, love your work, lads. Commercially, would you go Greenworks 82 volt versus Ego? Cheers. Um, Good luck with that one. Yeah, that's a, I mean, it's a very hard question. And a lot of it comes down to personal preference. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, we're not big commercial guys really anyway, let's be honest. But <laughs> Yeah. Um, well, you're more, more so than... Yeah, I mean, closer. I do a lot of overgrown least, stuff. Yeah, and, yeah. You and might not do it for no. clients. I'm doing a lot, lot yeah. less now than I used to yeah. as well. But look, all I can think is, look, with the Greenworks at least, um, hasn't been out for very long to give uh, you any sort of long uh, commercial one. It's less than 12 months yeah. or 12 oh, months at sorry, the most. when you say, yeah. Yeah, so like in terms yeah. of like keep comparing it in terms of long-term performance, will it last and all of that stuff, it's hard to know yeah. because it's only been out for a while. Uh, outside of that, yeah, you tell us. You I haven't said it. much because I'm trying to think the best way to word it because any time I say anything about this. That's all right. Was the power enough? Um, so for me, it commercially, if I was doing the run that I had prior to having to do all these videos, my ideal setup would be a 21-inch self-propelled commercial petrol mower. Yep. And then I would have a um, also a battery mower, a 19-inch one. Back up, yep. Um Probably self-propelled. Mm -hmm. um, maybe not. Did just you say 19-inch one? 19, yeah. So okay, smaller small to squeeze yep. into these smaller blocks around yep. here. And yep. if it's a small bit and I don't want to be wrestling with it. Mm -hmm. um, but, the you know, have the petrol one there for the versatility of being able to... If you've got to do a height reset, you can do it. If, yeah, it's, yeah. if it's overgrown, you can rip through it. Yeah. Or if it's, just, if it's light maintenance, rip in with the, the um, battery mower. So... Yep. I know there are some people that have um, battery-only businesses, and as I've said before, I'd like to go out for a day with one of them and see the workflow, see how it works. Uh, and I think if it's mainly maintenance stuff, you're going to breeze through it quite easily. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, and then what tool are you talking about? It's like um, the trimmers, I think, are good enough both are good to get yeah I, the, I, I like both of those trimmers the 82 mm -hmm. volt um and the ego they're very different in that the uh greenworks has the motor in the head whereas the um ego ego is the more you know traditional head yep but mowers and this was the news this is what i was saying we're going to get to might as well skip ahead to that bit now this right? is very interesting we saw you sent this to me um yesterday yep this was just literally just popped up, and yeah. I went. Huh. I had heard from a few people whispers about a new commercial mower coming out. So obviously, we've been speaking lately about the Ego commercial mower that's coming out June, I believe they've been saying. Mm -hmm. uh, well, Greenworks has hit back with what they've got coming out with. They have a new commercial battery mower coming out, yeah. which is looks a lot more like what I was expecting from their initial commercial range because the, they have a commercial 21-inch. Um, self-propelled battery mower, mm -hmm. uh, but it, it still feels very domestic-like in the, the the build of it. Okay. Um, obviously, it's 82 volt and you know large capacity batteries and everything, but the the overall feel of it, it it still just feels like a domestic mower. But what was the deck like alloy deck or was it still plastic deck or on which one? On your on the commercial existing commercial Greenworks mm -hmm. mowers. Uh, steel deck. Okay. 
Yeah, I've got okay. it here, I think. In there. And th they've got a 25-inch version as well, which yep. we have. I haven't done any coverage of that. We should get it out here <laughs> afterwards and I'll show you. But, yep. um, but the new one looks a lot beefier. It looks like it's it's three... I think it's got a three-kilowatt motor on it, which mm -hmm. is the same as... Well, I don't know if it's the same exact motor, but their 30-inch, which they released at the same time as their new 82-volt range, which yep. is that that big, big commercial Chunk, style. Yeah, 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 the thing that you would yeah. expect to be um, a commercial style mower, which yep. is like 70 plus kilos without the batteries, I think. Mm. Um, yeah, I think this is similar to that, just smaller. Much smaller mower, but got to Yeah, well, from, from the specs that they've got on this, it was just an Instagram post yeah. they made. Because I couldn't even find, like I saw the post on their page, yeah. the Greenworks commercial page, Yeah. but I couldn't find any further info on even their own website. Well, I went looking for it as well. I couldn't find anything. But yeah, they, they so it was say, just a teaser, literally. Well, they did say more info to come, but it did say, I think it was three kilowatt uh, motor. Yeah, I'm going to keep an eye on uh, LMC Air, I think, because they generally sort of announce it there as well. And individual uh, hub mo Wow, someone's oh. giving it some. Yeah. That Ooh. sounds like fun to drive. That's not battery. Um, <laughs> and individual hub motors. Yeah. So okay. the motors are in the in the wheels. Yeah. Uh, which is again the same setup as their larger 30 inch and the handlebar setup with the LCD Display. screen and yep. the the buttons and everything looks very much like their 30 inch as well. Um, so very interesting. I don't know when it'll be out, but it's going to be a, a bit of a uh, standoff with Ego versus. Greenworks, Greenworks so, you reckon? Yeah. 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 Keen to see both of them. Yeah. So um, I get into the ego while we're talking ego and Greenworks. You had something else from ego, didn't you? Uh, yeah, I saw a post that they're, well, it's out now, their new multi tool. Mm -hmm. Is that what you were talking about? Yeah, the commercial one, I think. Well, what? no, it's not a commercial one. They have a commercial one coming out, but it's That's not coming right. out till next year. Yeah. I th when I saw this post, I thought it was the that commercial, commercial one. one. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but it's not. It uh, looks updated from their old one. Tri okay. Trigger looks better and everything. Mm -hmm. I did reach out to them to see if we can get a turn of it, and yeah. um, hopefully we should be getting a go, which is good because I've got experience with the previous one. Yeah. It'll be nice to compare that one to this one. So what do you think of the Smart IQ feature that those have with the line feed, you know, with the push button and it just... Yeah, well, that was the... Because well, oh. that's on the multis as well, isn't it? Yeah, they have on their trimmer head for it. It's that auto rewind, mm -hmm. electric rewind, line rewind feature. Yeah. Um, it, I don't know. It'll be interesting to see how it actually works um, out in the wild. Yeah, yeah. I've got one of their domestic ones and it works on it and, it, and it's... It's cool. I don't know. It's kind of, for me, it's like another thing that can go wrong. Whereas if the head's good enough and you can rewind it like a speed feed, I'm like, yeah. oh, that's I, kind I of good enough for me. I don't think it's just the winding part though. Cause I think the cool thing about that was the fact that it meant- Sorry, did you say it was Line IQ? Wasn't that what it was called? Yeah. Okay, so Line IQ is the- Cause it feeds it out as yeah, well as it gets yeah, shorter. Exactly. So you, yeah. yeah. So it, I didn't see that bit on it. I swear, I thought I did. Okay. I thought it had the Line IQ built into that as well. Potentially, if it has got that, I'm not actually a fan of that. Oh, you aren't? Okay. No, I prefer the control of being able to bump. Even on a domestic setting, but any remember setting, if it's a domestic any unit. setting. Okay. Because I noticed with that Line IQ, with the domestic one that I tried, mm -hmm. or, or have still, um, it get, the line gets shorter and shorter, and, it, and I'm like, I'm at that point where I want to bump it, and but I'm waiting giving, for it to, yeah, to yeah. pop out. It's, okay. like, it just, it's reduced control. Like, put, put on your amateur hat like put on the person at home who's struggling with the line trimmer whose line trimmer keeps breaking i don't think like bumping's hard I don't, off now. I don't think it's a okay i don't think it's a massive issue inconvenience is it solving a problem that isn't there i don't know does anyone have issues with bumping their line trimmer to get line out yeah i i, I would have loved it before i learned how to use a line trimmer properly if that makes sense so prior to me learning how to use one properly and not have the string break in on me all the time and then having to start from, like, you know, where you got to feed it yeah. again. Remember, I used to be terrible yeah. at that part. Yeah. So prior to actually figuring out what I was doing wrong and working around that and getting it right now, yeah. that would have fixed my problems because the machine was kind of doing it for me where I wasn't breaking off, I yeah, I don't think. Know. I don't know. It feels very disconnected to me. Okay. And again, I'm used to what I'm used to. I'd, I'd be keen to hear from anyone that actually has got one or uses that line IQ and likes it. Yeah. I'm going to have a look at the specs on it now because now you got me genuinely interested. Um, so it is a... I hope I'm not wrong. What was that? I said I hope I'm not wrong. Oh, don't say that. Uh, um, I'm looking it up now. Ego multi-tool. Um, if it 
I hope they've got a standard head as well, if that's a thing. This is a domestic targeted yeah, yeah, device, yeah. Um, which is good. Always good to see new domestic stuff coming out. Again, the, the trigger looks... It looks very similar, the, the unit, mm -hmm. to the makeup of the... Um, the new commercial one. Yep. Um, you know, obviously it's not exactly the same, but yeah, trigger-wise, that was the, my biggest issue with the the older one. It had a bit of a heavy trigger, right? Which was quite fatiguing. Um, here we are, 40 centimeter line trimmer attachment. 40 centimeters, which is 40 centimeters, good for a domestic one. It just says line trimmer attachment. It doesn't say IQ, so I think you've lied. Hmm. Yeah, and I, yeah. Is I, this one a different one? You sent me this as well. What's that? No, that's the one. That is the so one. Power load on the right, right side. There yeah, but power load is... Is a different one to the line IQ feature? Yeah, so power load is where you feed the line in, press, press the, button. the button, and it ratchets it up itself and, okay. and feeds the line in. And then they line have an additional I one. Okay. Line IQ is another tech that they have Jeez. where, as we are just talking about, as, as the line wears down, it then senses that the line's... And it feeds more line out. you know... As the line wears down, I assume it just senses that it, there's no less load, more RPM, RPM and then it yeah, yeah lets it feeds it out. out more. Yeah. yeah, okay, I must have like obviously. Okay. Yeah, there now you go. you've confused everyone. I hope we haven't given anyone bad information here, but yeah, so that's coming out. Uh, hopefully, we're going to get our hands on that. Mm -hmm. We'll get your hands on it too. See what you think of the old one compared to the the newer one. I think you've tried my older one. I think so. You? Yeah, just not yeah. extended runs, obviously. I remember when I got it. It was one of the first battery multis that I got, and I was genuinely impressed by it. But yeah. the, the improvements between all of the competitors over the last couple of years, I, I look at it now, and I, it's underwhelming to me. Yeah, so, yeah. Which is good. I mean, it just shows that everything's... They're, yeah, they're fighting hard. They're getting yeah, it's better. moving quickly, yeah. Scott, and is this the one that spins the like other way to what normally spins It spins well? uh, the way we want anti-clockwise. Okay, cool. Yeah. That's good. Uh, I believe. I, again, I'm... I should probably confirm that. I mean, you've got the document there, Carthy. Be nice if you I can like help asking me out, you mate. the question and you just give me the answer. <laughs> Scott D. Kerr wants to know where did we get the workbench we're leaning on? That I love the you. look. Uh, yeah, I got it from Bunnings. I can't remember which brand it was. I wouldn't recommend it. Um, oh, okay. It was a bit of a pain to get together. Uh, I actually covered it in the vlog on my main YouTube channel, putting it together, and uh, the key broke off. The door doesn't close. Yeah. Okay. So you weren't a fan of it in general. Functionally, for what we're doing here, it it's works okay. well enough and it looks all right. But apart from that, I can't really recommend it. But it was, um, yeah, Bunnings. Whitey says, morning, legends. Morning, Whitey. Thanks for joining us again. Uh, I had someone else. Have you guys seen that electric engine what? Have you guys seen that electric engine what? Do you know what he's talking about? No. Not sure what you're talking about. Oh, I only struggle to bump when the line has run out. Yep, that's tough to... <laughs> <laughs> I think we all have that issue. Yeah. Uh, yeah, what else is going on during the week? You, you sent me this thing, what we saw on the internet, that person, the flower thief on a current affair. Oh, my God, yeah. Does she actually got a... I think she got a fine and a permanent criminal record. So what happened? Um, what was the, fl uh, what was the uh, plant called? I think it was... Uh, I forget the name of the plant. But this is like northern suburbs or one of those nicer suburbs up in Sydney. Uh, it was in Sydney. Yeah. yeah. So this lady took a few clippings off like a neighbor's yard, I think. Yeah. So it didn't like destroy the plant or steal the whole plant. Yeah. She took a few clippings off of the plant. She says she took a few. Is no, it? I think she did because then it kind of escalated. I think they, there was a court case. Did they see them on video? Or? She, yeah, they had, I think, CCTV footage. She pleaded guilty. Don't worry about that. Like she kind of owned up and went, oh, like I think she kind of went, I didn't realize it was it such a big deal. No, but that's the thing. Like she pleaded guilty to a couple of things. He was kind of like trespassing and a couple of random ones. So but she's the last, gone in, it wasn't just at the fence and she's. I think it was even possibly over the fence. Like go check up the story yourself. Just yeah. go plant thief, criminal court, whatever in Google and you'll find it. But the, the point there was the judge at the end for the final charge kind of went just to set sort of an example and set a precedent for future would not just like sort of wipe the criminal record on the last charge of the plant thing. Oh, wow. And it was only like a $500 fine, I believe, but Rose, it goes oh, on no. her permanent um, criminal record. Permanent criminal yeah. record for taking a few? <laughs> yeah. For taking a few clippings of... Um, I'm trying to remember the I plant. Can, I can see the plant. Again? I'm looking at it now, but yeah. Yeah, so she's stuck with that record now. 
on her permanent record. For as taking a, a couple of clippings. Yeah, so if you're planning to just take clippings off neighbors' yards apparently Don't do in it. Sydney, think twice because, yeah. Wow. You I'm trying to think, have I ever... I mean, I've, I've done it on I the I haven't done it without whatever. asking, to be honest, but I would if it was leaning over the fence and stuff. Cause I'm her, quite yeah. a romantic. I've grabbed a few flowers every now and then. And yeah, no, I, wait, uh, no, yeah, yeah but you, you'd probably look at that plant and go, what was that? You called it in that one video. Um, It's old people plants or something. Oh, uh, yeah. You're, you're very plant snob as well, aren't you? Or what plants are like... No, not at all. I just... <laughs> uh, was it was it gardenias? No. Old people plants? I don't know. I, I just... I don't even... I don't know a lot about plants, but I know what I like and what I don't like mm. and i feel like there's some that are just very dated looking that you generally see older people have it's not yeah. it's not meant to be a an insult against them or anything um scott d's come back saying he saw an electric engine george has that fits on scott bonners i haven't seen that have you i'm surprised uh, you haven't seen it i haven't been hanging out on the scotty pages a lot, oh I he's must dropped admit. out i haven't dropped out i just you cut him away so many things to look at i haven't looked at the You're scotty the pages a lot um so i must have missed that altogether we haven't seen that scott uh, we'll have to check it up um, electric I, engine on a scotty that yeah. sounds interesting doesn't it i guess it what is it some chinese what the engine, engine or something is, like the engine can be whatever chinese brand motor? It is, but if it's electric I'm saying to custom fit it onto a Scotty. That sounds like interesting tech yeah. overall. Yeah. Yeah, I did. I saw a couple of years ago, even Ego had like a motor mm -hmm. set up. Onto um, a Scotty? No, 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 no. Oh, Just okay. a, um, I'm trying to think if it was vertical or horizontal. I think it was a, jeez, uh, I can't even think now. I think it was a horizontal. No, I think it was a vertical. Okay. Shaft engine. <laughs> got there. I don't even know if you can get it now, but yeah. I remember seeing that and thinking, oh, that'd be a decent setup, just throwing that on a there you go. Someone said there's a whole random tool. Whoops. There's a whole Insta page out there on electric conversions of Scott Bonus. There you no, go. We'll have to I'm have definitely I didn't even know it was a thing. Definitely out of touch. Yeah. Uh, my God, oh they my. are really slapping away with the... Uh, to a stroke. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely not battery stuff there. Perfect background music, though, for a Turf and Tools podcast. Uh, got Whipper Snippers going in the background. Hey, we had uh, April Fool's this week. Oh, my God. I Actually, initially, I forgot it was April 1st. I got Did you done know, I by knew. one, oh. and then I kind of went, this doesn't sound right, and then I, okay, hang on, it's April 1st. What are your thoughts on April Fool's? Ah, it's a bit of fun. If you can get someone, look, it's hard to fool someone. So if you can get someone to believing something ridiculous, the, I think in the, I don't know what was your favourite, um, the we, most far-fetched favorite one, but Milwaukee year, had one that had like I didn't see Milwaukee's. Yeah, what was they that? had like that a was... nuclear-powered um, drill or something. See, that's <laughs> but I, I, the images and stuff were like it's it's far-fetched. I did not believe it, but I just thought it was cool. I'm like, wow, that is really. I out feel there. like it's got to be something innocuous enough that it's like, Jim, oh, okay, this. Well, Jim the, running the, for premier was pretty good, wasn't it? That was pretty good because yeah, so uh, Jim's Jim Penman. Jim's mowing. Yeah. Um, yeah, did a whole um, media conference looking thing. Looked all very official, didn't it? That yeah. he was going to be running for platform on a. As, uh, as, as, sorry, for Premier. A state Premier for Victoria, I think it yeah. was. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then, yeah. Well done to them. That was pretty funny. I, like, it, it, I was 60 40 with that one. 60, I was like, no, this is April Fool's. But then 40, I'm like, I don't know. I mean, he was, he's very vocal politically, yeah. so... Uh, yeah, now, one, once I realised it was... They're the good ones. The ones that you're like, oh, this... Is this, it true? Yeah, <laughs> could be. Um, I found a lot of... I, I did screenshot a yeah. few of them every time I saw one. Um, a few were... I don't know. It's just the outdoor power equipment stuff. It's just so many... Oh, we've got a flying mower, or we've got a flying hedger, yeah, or we've the got echo a flying... Hedge, the echo hedger, yeah. The I echo saw... hedger one looked good. I don't know did you, you saw that. Well, I showed someone at work, and they're like, oh, that's a great idea. And I went, what? And they went, no, so no, it was no, like a, a drone idea. attachment yeah, to... Or like it was a drone hedger, essentially, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's just a hedger attachment yeah. attached to a drone. Yeah. Obviously <laughs> not an actual product, but the artwork on it, or the photoshopping on it, was, was excellent. superb. Yeah. So it looked great, but I think you mix it with all the other... Um, you know, sort of really sort of random ones. I think Victor had a hover mower or oh, something. Did they? Okay. And it was <laughs> there. What do you think of their um, stuff? Who, Victor? Yeah. What do you mean? Like just their tools just in, in general? general? Like, I don't, what do you think of their presence these days? You forget they're there, but then they're everywhere as well, though, still. You're I mean, I've way... still got my Victor from 
freaking God knows when from Bunnings. It's yeah. still going. Every time I pull it out, my poor lawn starts crying because it's my scalp mower. But it, it runs. It doesn't matter how long I've put it away for. I think that's for. any old, old petrol mower. Yeah, used it could to be. You asked me, that. Victor. Like, that's the one I've got, though. So. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I just see this stuff. I just what they're missing from the battery scene. I feel like I know they've got no, products they out have, there. Yeah. No, no, they have yeah. products out there. But when's the last time we discussed their nah. battery gear? When we're talking about battery gear, right? I don't think. I, every time I see a post of theirs or a product or something, it seems to just be relying on that whole. Oh, we used to sponsor the Western Suburbs Magpies, which is probably before your time. Which yep, more than likely. Do you do? Do you know anything? Like, no, no. So a rugby league team. Okay. They used to sponsor, you know, back in the. 80s, probably 90s as well. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, so they're, they're big on the jersey, but it's just like they lean back on, oh, we used to be this, or, yeah. or old pictures of Victor's, we're, we're this. So it's like classic stuff, yeah. I don't feel like they hit on this is what we're doing now enough. Yeah. I don't know, that might yeah. sound a little bit critical, but just from a purely I hope the Victor, Ma- Victor marketing team's <laughs> listening to Tim, the long old man's advice, yeah. <laughs> oh, I don't want to make it sound like that. It's just a purely observational no, thing. I get what you mean. Like I said, I look, in the end, I think we... Last, last week when we talked about uh, Jim's mowing, we talked about, like, marketing's marketing. Like, you know, you don't want to be forgotten about necessarily. Well, I think you want to be, relevant. Want to be relevant. And if your relevancy yep. is based on we used to be this or we used to be that, that's weak. With Especially if you're on TikTok or yeah, something yeah. where it's a younger audience and they don't know you used to sponsor yeah. the magpies or that you used to have... <laughs> You know, yeah, it, or, or it may not what, be of interest what, to Wiley them. said apparently Makira had a battery-operated toasty maker last year. At the no, that's Smith. true. The, no, I think it was April Fool's thing. Are you talking about the oven? No, he, he just says Makira got us last year with a battery-operated toasty maker. Oh, like maker. a small one. I thought they might have been talking about their actual... They've got like a microwave uh, like or a, an oven. Yeah, yeah, a like, oven. Yeah, a battery one. I didn't see that one, that toasty those, one. Those ones are all, like, all of those, like, extra stuff they make, these brands, the yeah. camping stuff. I love that stuff, though. Like, yeah. so little use for them, but this is so, like, such a good idea. Well, Ryobi are great at it, aren't they? The amount yeah. of attachments that they've got. For their, yeah, for their platforms. For their 18 volts. stuff. 100%. It's just, like, yep. yeah. Like, even, like, they've all, but they all seem to do it now. Like, everyone's got pruners. Everyone's got um, little fans. Um, everyone's got sprayers yep. now. Um, so, it's. You're pretty lucky, whatever brand you go with now. Yeah, and if you're invested into one already in terms of platform and you've put a lot of money into it, mm. you can, you, yeah, whatever you're looking for is probably available in that platform. So back to April, April Fools, Fools yeah. and the the, the the whole thing about the, you know, floating or hover. More. Yeah. So Kubota had an aggro deck, which is like a, kind of looks like a very... Shows? Um, back to the Future style. Yeah. I don't even know what it's for, but again, hovering <laughs> seemed to be a, a common theme. Bad Boy mowers. Yeah. Um, they do ride-ons and stuff. Again, went with the drone uh, lawn mower sort of thing. Drone DX mower well, six thousand. Drone too. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, kind of looks cool. It's got wheels on it though. Anyway. It's a picture. <laughs> uh, Senex Tools, which again, not not a massive player or anything, but it did come up in my feed. Uh-huh. Looks extremely um, AI generated. Oh my god! Okay. <laughs> it kind of looks like some it's a whole droid built into the lawnmower. Yeah, line trimmer, blower, hedger, chainsaw. Kind of looks like some uh, futuristic. Um, someone just sent me an SMS <laughs> about the electric motor on the Scott Bonner. <laughs> Scott did. Uh, I don't know who it is, a okay. random number. But, um, yeah, that looks very futuristic, warlike. Um, the Lawn Hub, turfed. They have, uh, what is it? Okay, so it's, I get, you know how you have those towels that you they're tiny and then you wet them and they... Yeah. I, I guess that was the theory behind that. I don't know if you saw that uh, one. Okay, no, I missed you know, that. You, right. you wet the, this what, tiny... What, they, what did they put it out as, though, as a, as a no, wedding just, agent or something? No, just as a, a pitch. Like, it's meant to be in a tub. These tiny, tiny rolls of turf, you wet it and then it oh, expands. expands into I, I full think rolls. that's what it is. It. I didn't really go into it, but the the bad Photoshop sort of triggered yeah. me. That <laughs> 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 and then, yeah, obviously Jim's, which... I mean, he, they got him on the side of a bus and gym for Premier, and yeah. that, that was well done. I've got to give some props there. Um, lawn Solutions. This is a common one. What did they put out? The Bluetooth hose connector. Of course, yeah. I think that's been done before. I know. I was, yeah, I know. Um, yeah, Victor, the hover ride, ride on, which, again, like, look at the... It's, oh, no. You know, it's... Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I guess you've you got to jump on board, but... 
Yeah, that Damn, was I'm sure the marketing team would have had a bit of fun for a day, at least from all the serious marketing they got to do. Yeah. Why uh, not? We got a few laughs out of it. We got some more tools on the way. There's still stuff arrived. Still have sent some stuff out for okay. us to try. Uh, I believe it's their line, one of their line trimmers, their AP300 um, batteries, which is their more commercial batteries. But I think, I don't know, which, there's a mower. I, I don't know. I haven't picked them up yet. But also the little, their pruner, which we spoke about yeah. when I was talking about the Keptec one, saying that, you know, they were kind of the pioneers of that. Um, yeah, so those three have come. I've got to pick them up from around the corner probably tomorrow. Nice. We also have another Mo Rater on the way, believe it or not. Ah, uh, okay. So Is it the, it's, it's the four-wheel? Yeah, so for anyone that's been watching recently, I've been trying... Uh, oh, George sent me the uh, video of the electric mower. I'll have a... George from... Motor. Scott Bonner, Just George. sent you a, a video from George. Scott, oh, Scott, Scott did. Yeah. Okay, yep. Um, yeah, I've been using the remote control Mo Rater mower that's been sent out because um, it's just fun as hell yeah but it's a two-wheel drive with caster wheels on the front they have an all-wheel drive version which i was like oh i really would like to try that and see how that compares because you get if slippy. the grass is a little bit longer especially a bit of wheel spin at the back and it's you can get out of whatever situation you're in, yep. in but I'm, I'm very curious to see how the all-wheel drive goes mm -hmm. so that'll be coming we might try and do some hills and that sort of thing and I don't know, maybe we can have some remote control mower races or something. Yeah, why not? You and Bumper I. cars. Sounds like fun. <laughs> um, yeah, they're the, the new products coming. I mowed yesterday with the Azito mower, my next door neighbours. Okay, okay. Um, so almost ready for the review. Oh, not I, review, but you know I what I mean. I didn't film it. I, I've just got to... I, this, I, probably three months ago now I bought this thing and filmed some stuff and just haven't edited it. I really Come just on, need to... get on it. Get onto it, but yeah, that's all I've probably got for today. You got anything else, Carthy? Uh, man, we've got you feel like garbage, don't off. you? No, 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 I feel fine. I sound like garbage, I'm sure, and I keep yeah. sniffling away. So, sorry about that to everyone listening. Oh, that um, I've lost track of what we were going to cover now. We've, I think, we've kind of jumped back and forth. It was my, my, my main thing today was the like the biggest news was the Greenworks commercial mower. Which, okay, again, cool. yeah, 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 very, very excited to see that. Let me go back um, to the list again. No, that's all right, we've been through it all. Very excited to see that, and then, yeah, obviously, how it stacks up against. Egos when they come out. Hopefully, they come out around the same time, see what they're like. Uh -huh. um, yeah, hopefully, we'll be able to cover them. But that's all I got for this week. Hope everyone has a lovely week. Um, if you've got any questions or anything we can talk about on the podcast, let us know. We'll try and address it. Until next week, um, yeah, try and stay dry. And uh, yeah, well, give me something, Carthy. Oh, sorry, I, I didn't want to interrupt you because I've. <laughs> I noticed through the early broadcast that I interrupt a lot, so I was trying to give you space to we let you finish it, your mate. thoughts first. We all do it, mate. Now, have right. a great week, guys. I think there's more rain coming Sydney, but hopefully it's not as bad as the week gone. No worries. All right. Have a good one, guys. See ya. Catch you later.